I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. This video, I'm going to rant a little bit. And the reason is, some of my subscribers have been sending me videos from the University of California on obesity, the dangers of white sugar, how fructose is making us fat, and how a calorie is not a calorie. These are great videos. But the only problem is this. This is the world we live in. This is what we have. Now, I'm never going to question their science, their biochemistry. I mean, they're a college, they're doing research, they are on the leading edge. But my question is this, what are we supposed to do? This is the world we live in. The middle class is now considered the low class. What do people do when they have two and three kids? How do they feed them? And in these videos, they pan through the supermarkets and they show us Pop-Tarts, and bagel bites, and cereals with all these sugars, and they show all these fast foods that are making us fat and taking over the world. But you know something? This is the world we live in. It's big corporations trying to enhance the bottom line through fast foods, cheap foods. I get it. That's what they do. That's what shareholders want. They want money. But if you watch these videos, they point the finger of blame at sugar and fructose. I get it. But then they make all these other generalities as to why we've gotten fat from the 1970s to the present. Well, it's the food. It's the fats, but now it's the sugars. Well, wait a minute. If, if we've replaced fats, made things low fat, but we've replaced them with the sugars, Maybe it's the total calories, not just the fact that we're eating sugar instead of fat, because you actually made that argument in the video. But then they mentioned, hey, it could be the pesticides and the chemicals that we're putting on our foods. It could be the medicines we're taking. It could be what's in the soil. It could be a combination of things. Fat in and of itself on our bodies generates hormones that can make us sick or fat. Then they talk about metabolic syndrome. Then they even mention in one of the videos how sugar is awful for you. But wait a minute, if you're a long distance runner, it's okay. So maybe exercise and people's conditioning plays a part in this as well. Because how can sugar be bad if it's good for a long distance runner? Like I've said, you need it after an intense workout. So there are a lot of contradictions here. There's a lot of glittering, glittering generalities. I'm not saying that their science is inaccurate. I'm just saying that there are a lot of generalities and there are a lot of aspects to this that they don't address. And again, my question is this. If somebody just eats less of the crappy diet that they have, they will lose weight. I don't care what they say. You eat fewer calories, you will lose weight. Now, it might not be the best way to diet, eating less fast food, but less calories will make you less fat. And again, this is the world that we live in. This is the world we are exposed to. So for 99% of people, if they began to eat less and they exercised more, I think this metabolic syndrome would begin to diminish. And again, they talk about how even obese people don't have the metabolic syndrome 20% and that 40% of regular people have a metabolic syndrome. Well, maybe it's due to, again, some of those other factors. Lack of activity. The body's inefficient ability to utilize calories because it's not forced to use calories during normal desk jobs. The chemicals that we're exposed to, the medications we're dealing with, all the environmental aspects that affect our lives that didn't affect us 100 years ago. Plus, they seem to neglect the fact that 50 extra calories a day is 5 pounds gained in a year. 100 extra calories a day is 10 pounds gained in a year. 200 extra calories a day is 20 pounds gained in a year. So again, 5 extra, pound, five extra pounds a year? In 10 years, you'd be 50 pounds overweight. A lot of people are. 100 extra calories a day, that's 10 pounds a year. It's 100 extra calories, extra pounds in, in 10 years. 
And you know, people are fat, but are they that fat? Again, 200 extra calories, it's, it's two beers, two light beers. 200 extra calories a day, it's 20 extra pounds. 20 years, you'd be 400 pounds overweight. So they seem to be missing that point. And then in one of the videos, I think they said that people are eating an average of 2,800 calories a day. 2,800 calories a day? That is a lot of food. you got to work at that. And what people don't realize is that even their guilt kicks in. Man, I had a big lunch. I need to lighten up on dinner. So again, when you take all this stuff into consideration, that's what you have to do. Take all these factors into consideration. But again, my question is, hey, doctor, what are we going to do? This is the world we live in. I'm not Oprah. When I become as rich as Oprah, I'll tell her, to, or I'll, I'll tell my chef, hey, listen, pal, your job is to make these beans and sprouts and dirts and twigs and leaves taste like chocolate and lobster. But most people, most people don't have that luxury. And I also noticed that a few of the doctors in some of those videos were really, really fat. But you know what? They don't show them for very long. I'm Steve Ferrano. Train smart. Train hard.